Hey everybody, Professor Klein back here in the Human Anatomy and Physiology Laboratories at Ohio University. Today, we're taking a look at the leg muscle model. So zoom on in and let's get started. We're gonna just start knocking these out and what we wanna do is look at each muscle, for example, the first one, the sartorius, the longest muscle in the body. So this muscle is the sartorius, with origins of the ASIS, which can be seen on the skeleton as right here. Oh, Klein, you're on low power mode. <laughs> ASIS, right here. And the insertion point, medially down on the tibia. popping this muscle off because it's most superficial, we start to see the larger muscles of the thigh. And those are the quadriceps. You have four quadricep muscles, the biggest and most prominent being the rectus femoris. This one originates on the AIIS. The AIIS is this more inferior bump on the pelvis, so AIIS. I, S, that's where the rectus femoris originates. As we can see it traveling down here to the quadriceps tendon, the patella, then the patellar tendon, and eventually the insertion point is the tibial tuberosity. Remember, that's like this bump right here, tibial tuberosity. Coming back up, we also have a vastus medialis, vastus lateralis, and vastus intermedius that make up the quadricep muscles. Turn it to the side, lateral view, we've got the TFL. TFL is a smaller anterior muscle also originating on the ASIS, but inserting into this thick IT band. So the iliotibial band is actually an insertion point for the TFL. Turn it even further and we can start to see the gluteal muscles. So way up at the hip, largest muscle in the body, the gluteus maximus. The gluteus maximus is from the posterior aspect of the pelvis. And if we come over here, that would be like this area, down to the femur, as well as the IT band. So this muscle stretches across, to do that but there's not just a gluteus maximus there's a gluteus medius this one is more lateral and if we look over here the origin would be up here on the iliac crust as well as a giant bump on the femur which we know to be the greater trochanter, greater trochanter. Back here, we can see a lot of small rotator, or rotator muscles of the hip. We're just gonna focus on one of them called the piriformis. This is the piriformis, and you know it's the piriformis because this nerve, the sciatic nerve, runs inferior to that piriformis muscle. Jump down to the hamstrings. This group of three muscles is called the hamstrings muscles that all originate on the ischial tuberosity. Here's the ischial tuberosity, which we've learned before as the sit bone. So all three of the hamstrings originate on the sit bone. Back here, Individually, we can see the biceps femoris, 
the semi tendinosis and then look very closely on either side of the semi tendinosis is the semi membranosis and I like to think of it as the hot dog semi tendinosis is the hot dog sitting within a hot dog bun semi membranosis all of them originate below the knee and produce knee flexion keeping it going now we're medial lots of medial adductors but as a group we're just going to call them the adductors of the thigh all right now we're down to the calf muscles with the most superficial calf muscle being the gastrocnemius both of these here lateral medial heads is the gastrocnemius turning into the Achilles tendon. The Achilles tendon is also called the calcaneal tendon. But the, <laughs> the right, pause for a second. Yeah. But if you remove the gastrocnemius underneath the more deep muscle is the soleus. The soleus also er inserts into the calcaneal tendon and eventually the calcaneus. Now, what's important to note is that the soleus originates below the knee, but the gastrocnemius originates superior or above the knee joint. Keeping it going. There are some deeper ones in here. We're gonna focus on the ones that are anterior and lateral. So first off, all the way anterior. This is the tibialis anterior. Tibialis anterior originates superiorly on the tibia and inserts into the first metatarsal. First metatarsal. You also have the extensors of the toes. Extensors of the toes. Notice all these tendons traveling out to each toe is from a muscle in your lower leg that extends the toes. Most laterally, we can see the fibularis longus and the fibularis brevis, both coming down, which will evert the foot. Evert the foot. Finally, some of my favorite, the muscles that originate and insert in the foot itself, we're gonna group them all together and call them the intrinsic foot muscles. So anything in the foot itself is called an intrinsic foot muscle. We also have the iliopsoas muscle. Iliopsoas muscle, often referred to as the hip flexor muscle, as we can see here, crosses the inguinal ligament, so it would cross the hip joint. Ilio so as uh, yeah, let's get, let's get. all right we gotta start filming some more